everybody, it's me again, Kevin the Carpet Guy. Welcome back to the channel. Here today we are going to go over how to do another seam. I know I've done a couple videos like that already, but I was able to get a, uh, an attachment from my GoPro and I'm able to attach it to my seamer. So welcome back, buckle up, we're going to hopefully learn something today. And so we all can get better at doing it because I do believe seams are one of the things on the jobs that will either make or break a good job or whether you'll have a repair or not. So here we go. happening so this is how I do my seams there you go make sure you don't go past the glue that's heated up I was separate it that way there's no fibers going on the inside of it and from there I try to make them come down the exact same time so no fibers go inside and then from here I always here closer to the seamer I always double check make sure that there's no gap and it looks like there's a little one right there so just grab your kicker before you do any sort of tracting or pushing down on the glue you want to move it because if you push it down on the glue first then it won't come over as easy and if it does it might just wrinkle up the the seam tape underneath so when you go to stretch it it just pulls right back apart you always after you're done pushing the glue up into the carpet to the backing you always kind of lay it down flat with the rest of the carpet and then set that on top don't drag it because if you drag it it'll make it stand up and you'll see a definite different color almost. And when you're always going forward, I always make sure that the center of the seam tape stays in the center. From 
there, work it down. There you go up here by the seamer again. You double check, make sure that there's no lap, overlaps or gaps. And then I hold it with my left hand so it doesn't come apart at all. Any high spots, I always just kind of work it so they're the same height. And then from there, if you see any of these, uh, pieces of like these strings right here make sure you cut those off don't pull them because if you pull them that will kind of break down your backing separate the carpet and then my right hand I try to help it evenly push down to where they're the exact same height if you see any high ridges you know make sure you pull it away kind of push down on it over here and kind of separate it a little bit make sure that they're the right height no gaps. There we go. Let's do it again. Run down. Stop before you go too far. Left hand, separate the carpet. Lay it down nice and even and flat where there's no overlaps or gaps. Right there, they're almost touching almost. It's a little tight, so I always get my kicker Maybe separate it a little bit. Just kick or push it over. There you go. Didn't have to go far. There we go.
Set it down. All right. After the seams, we always take our shears and we use them to fluff up any carpet. You may have any ridges or high spots. And to get any sort of fibers that have 